Look at that absolute beast of a bass right there. Wow. Hello, Oscars. I'm going swimming with all of you today, and I'm installing underwater lights while I'm in there. Boom. We are all blue now. What is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video. I just went and picked up all the animal food. So we're going to do a big old feeding here at the farm, because I know I haven't posted as much this month, so I want to make sure y'all see the animals. Oh, and also, like I mentioned just five seconds ago, we're going swimming in this pond right here behind me. We're going to get up close and personal with all these little guys, and not the only the little fish. Got gars in here, all the paku in there, and our massive, massive bass that's right there. While I'm inside there though, I did order some more lights. These are actually underwater lights, the one that lie on the top of the roof here, so at night you can see into the pond. I saw a lot of comments telling me, hey, put lights in the pond. So I was like, ordered some more, and now we got lights in the pond and out of the pond. So at night it's gonna look crazy, which I will be getting a clip at nighttime in this video later on to show you what it comes out and looks like. Right up, Kev. He comes over to me now, and then when I start feeding, he jumps back into the enclosure. The morning has these animals crazy. Look how green that hay is. Mm, that is some beautiful, beautiful hay. This is for my cows, because the cows need some fresh hay. And then I got all the pig food over here. Missouri, you need to sponsor me. So if you're associated with Missouri at all, and you're watching this video, perhaps, email me. Oh my gosh. You think they're hungry? They still got a little bit of food left over here, so. I'll feed them this so they be quiet. Hey, Kevin. There you go, Kev. Uh, turkey? Here. <laughs> the craziest part is this is a wild Muscovy. Like, I mean, I mean, he's been here for like, you know, eight months, but he's wild. Like, this thing just came to my house out of nowhere. Perfect stepping stool. <laughs> Nice and fresh. Oh yeah. Let's put that in there. Close it up. One bin full and we got a whole lot to do over there. So instead of these hooks, I actually just bought these. They actually twist down and then I twist them back up to tighten. Because he loves throwing these buckets off of the fence and then kicking them all the way over there like that one. There's nothing in it yet. Nothing yet, bud. So we're gonna loosen this all the way up. And I'm gonna hook that other bucket lower for our baby one who's sleeping over there in the banana bush right now. He knows what like grain is. She was eating it yesterday for the first time actually, by the way. But he knows what it is, so he comes right to me. She's a little shy, she's just a little baby. So that right there is more like it. We are now not going anywhere. I need to get this though right in there and that's super easy. And just like that, it is done. We got a little bit hanging right there. That mineral block they always knock down, so I just put that back up and someone's on the ground right there. I'm, 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 I'm about to. I'm going to. He has no patience. All right, here we go. The fountain's actually a little underwater because the water level has risen so much to put fresh water in, so. I need to go in the pond, in that nasty pond, and pull the wire a little bit higher. It has an anchor on it, if you've ever wondered why and how that's in the middle of the pond. And all these ibises, these aren't even mine. Get out of here, stop eating my food. It cost me money. All right, that one's good. I'm coming, just a second, Willow. Gotta put these in there and those in there. Look at, look at Boots trying to get out with the door right here. Are you ready, ready, ready? Yay! Didn't work for you, bud, did it? No, because I made a wood wall. If you didn't see last video, you gotta go check it out. He was getting out by like parkouring literally out of the enclosure. Jumping off that wall over the fence and onto the ground over here. And unfortunately, well fortunately for me at least, he can't do that anymore. <laughs> And just like that, all these are filled. And also, just like that, Gary's yelling for more food already. Get away! Go! And stay over there. Shoot for the goats, because this is the goat grain. And then for the pigs. There you go, guys. Hello, everyone. Yeet! Everyone's eating up now. The turkeys are in the mix. A couple more scoops for the pigs. Oh, there goes Boots. Yay! <laughs> I love it, dude! Massive, massive, massive boil in the pond. 
right there it was huge. I really wonder what the heck is in this pond sometimes, and for all I know, there could be another alligator. It's, it's happened before. All right, there was some coming. Look, he's still trying to do it. He's still trying to do it. He's almost got it down pat. I tell you what, he's almost getting to that wall now. He does it when I'm like right here, too. <laughs> here he goes again. He's backing up. Oh, golly. Look at Emmy standing on her hind legs. I'm coming. Oh, Boots just did it again. Yay. And there they all go. Silence now. Not jumping. They see their food. They wanted it, and that's what they got. Look at these two waiting on me to walk over here. I got it. Don't worry. I'm coming. I was literally snuggling Lady May yesterday. I made a TikTok on it. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, here it is. But you should definitely go follow me there. Everything's linked down below. Half a scoops for you guys. See you later, big pigs. Look at this. Woo! The saltwater tank looks amazing, and this month, this month, we are getting fish for it. I'm so stoked, you don't understand, I've been waiting months. I promise you fish are gonna be swimming in here by the end of this month. I think the 22nd is the day we're going. That's the mushroom coral, and we have our little see-through shrimp sitting on it right there. If you're ready to see fish in this thing, let me know in the comments down below. And along with that, drop what you wanna see in the tank fish-wise. I know I've asked you that before, but let me know again. You, golly, that is beautiful. See that right there? Bam, paulcaferrobrand.com. Your boy's been dropping lots of merch lately. Go check out the site, top link in the description. Any of y'all repping the merch, post it on your Instagram story anywhere, just tag me and I will repost it. I need you and I need my tripod because I'm going swimming with my fish. I also need the lights out of the garage because we're installing the underwater lights. All right, lights. Oh yeah. All five lights right here with our remotes. Oh my gosh, all the fish are literally sitting right here. Like, I gotta get the GoPro in the water. I cannot wait to jump in here. You know how long I've been wanting to do this? For the last like week, since the fish have been in here, I've wanted to jump in and swim with them. And today is the day. So if you're ready for this, hit the like button, smash the like button for me. My neighbors are looking at me, hello there. Now you see how we have a perfect amount of light? The length between the wires actually fits this pond perfectly. No, that was not planned, nor was it planned for these guys up here. It literally just fits perfectly. I actually put that last one onto the turtle pond though. But all five of these are gonna go inside the pond and we have to bury the wire right here under our gravel and that's why I have to go in the water. Yes, I could just throw these in but it would look trash once we do like underwater footage. You don't wanna see wire like that. It's all a little chilly in there. But I'm excited. <gasps> We're hopping in. I need goggles. What am I doing? I'm about to hop in a pond. Like... Sheesh. I'm excited. I know it's gonna be cold but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, wow. Now, yes, I did make sure I was all rinsed off prior to going in here. No shampoo, no lotion, no conditioner, no deodorant, nothing. You want to hop in clean as a whistle. Woo. Lights are done. That is that, and they ain't even on yet. Keep in mind, they ain't even on yet. So we're officially gonna swim with my fish. Um, I'm excited to see the bass underwater. I mean, I haven't looked at a single fish other than the bite, so it almost bit my foot. Other than that, I literally didn't look at them because I wanted to get my first initial reaction on the GoPro slash camera here. My hair is crazy, and it's cold out of the water, so I'm gonna go back in. The red tails, the platinum red tails look so cool. I just saw one of the tilapia that we feed the fish. I tell you what. That air it is really loud underwater. My ears kind of hurt. Hot 
one of them definitely like the coolest underwater. I get to run into like most of the Paku, the Oscars, and the bats. I think they're kind of like avoiding me. So we're gonna try to look for them now. There's the bass. There's the bass. That fish is so big. I tell you what, I'd love to swim with them more but I honestly don't want to stress them out. I wanted to just hop in here and get a look at them. The lights look absolutely amazing. I could uh, I could not be happier with the outcome of this uh, project. So many, so many hours of work between Hector, the guys, myself, Luke, Chad, so many of my friends. Thank you everyone for helping making this right here happen. We have much more to come, by the way. We're going to get new fish for it very soon, once the heater gets plugged in, because it's a little chilly right now. Not too bad, but it is a little chilly. There was the carp and pretty much all the other fish were just sitting right there. Okay. What an experience. We will probably do that again once we get more fish. But again, just an absolutely crazy experience, guys. This thing is beautiful. And the fish inside are even more beautiful as you just saw. Underwater footage. Oh, look at them right now even during the day. We got lights up there and down here. That is going to look crazy at night because these make the whole pond look good at night i couldn't imagine underwater and above well uh we're about to find out right now ready nighttime in three two one and we are back outside my bedroom window because it is raining a bit but i want to i actually have to be over here to like connect the lights correctly here's white boom look at the lights inside the pond looks insane now these are off up here but uh if i turn them on i can actually turn these on boom now we are all lit up like it's daytime i tell you what you can see all the fish they're all just spread out this is white on white now there's different colors we could do blue like the blue looks really good boom we are all blue now doesn't that look sick I wish these reached a little bit further so we can actually be out there and do it. I have to like be like right here next to them. Let's go white in the pond as well and let's go outside and take a look at that. Look at this pond. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Now unfortunately it's, it's nasty out. It's actually drizzling on me right now. The weather's nasty. Take a look. Wow, fellas. Ferris, that's next level stuff right there. That's like super impressive. We got the gar right here. Look at that flow. Is that not just incredible? Anyway, yeah, the lights look good. My camera's gonna break if it gets any more wet. So I'm going inside, I'll see you in the morning. That is all I've got for you today. Thank you so much, Kferos, for watching. Again, check out the merch, top link in the description. Swimming with my fish is officially over. Once we get more fish, which we're getting more fish, I believe literally like, same as the saltwater tank, this month as well. We're gonna probably go swimming in this again for sure. We have a lot of room, these fish are small, although they're gonna grow, we still have enough room to get some more fish. Water is so clear, the filtration is absolutely amazing, and this bass should start eating out of our hand like Thump 2.0. Here shortly, time to do some fish training. Look, he's right there. Goliath of a bass, just chilling. Golly, that thing is so big. Get a little cap full of food here. Hey, bud. Ooh. Got the Oscars going nuts. Bam. Come on. You see it. Come on. Come eat. Come on. Come eat. Oh, we got another one behind that one. Here we go. Ooh, Merc. I love the Oscars. I've had these guys for so long. Here we go, another one. Dunk. Got another one of the Oscars back there as well. The Gar's eating pellets too. If you didn't watch the video before, look at this. Our filter house looks amazing. That is where our filter is at. Matches my house. Yeah. Sweet. My boy Carlos just called me and he's on the way here right now to hook up the heater. So the heater will be done today and the water should start getting nice and warm. 
And by the way, when the water is nice and warm, red tails actually grow a lot faster. It's weird to say, I just, from personal experience, it's true. It's a fact. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.